Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of the day. The Honorable Supreme Court while upholding conviction of a man accused of killing his own father following a fight under the influence of liquor has held that maybe it was under the influence of liquor but nature of blows was such that the endeavor was to end the life of the deceased even if there was no premeditation. The Supreme Court has allowed amendments proposed to the constitution of the BCCI to relax the mandatory cooling off period requirement. Now, the cooling off period of 3 years will apply only if a person serves two consecutive terms at the BCCI or the state association. The Supreme Court has held that a false declaration with regard to the assets of a candidate, their spouse or dependents constitutes a corrupt practice irrespective of the impact of such a false declaration on the election of the candidate. The Supreme Court has dismissed a batch of appeals filed by the Pharmacy Council of India against judgments of certain high courts which set aside the moratorium imposed on starting new pharmacy colleges for 5 years. The Supreme Court while observing that there is only one domicile that is the domicile of the country and there is no separate domicile for state has held that the state reorganization laws cannot take away from citizens the right to reside and settle in any part of the country. The Kerala High Court while granting bail to accused suffering from a psychotic illness stated that since major part of the investigation is over and the petitioner a psychiatric patient has already spent more than 3 weeks in jail further detention would adversely affect his illness the kerala high court has held that the state administration is obligated to protect the citizens from attacks of ferocious dogs by identifying and containing such dogs and removing them from public places but people cannot take the law into their own hands to harm dogs the karnataka high court has held that a family settlement arrived at between parties to share immovable properties has to be among all family members who agree to the common terms and an agreement in writing between parties to suit arrived before panchayat is not acceptable unless it is a registered document the delhi high court has held that a mere exculpatory statement made to officials of the enforcement of directorate cannot suffice to form a reasonable ground to believe that the accused is not guilty of the offence of money laundering The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that if there are multiple owners of authorized premises and only one applies for license while the others object designated authority may not issue such license under section 31 of the Food Safety and Standard Act 2006 unless the dispute between the co-sharers is settled The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that the benefit of reservation must reach deserving candidates in reserved category and state is under obligation that this benefit is not eaten away by candidate who has equal or better merit than that of the candidate last admitted in general category. The Allahabad High Court while emphasizing that the right to file bail without delay and access to legal aid of an eligible prisoner are intertwined has suggested some significant positive measures so as to overcome delay in filing of bail pleas by under trial prisoners in absence of proper legal aid. The Allahabad High Court while upholding a detention order of district magistrate against a rape murder accused under section 3 sub clause 2 of the National Security Act 1980 has held that the crimes against minor girls create a sensation in the locality and it is bound to disturb public order. The Jharkhand High Court while ordering rupees 10 lakhs compensation for blind minor girl who was subjected to gang rape by her own family members including brother and uncle has directed the state government to establish a rehabilitation center at Ranchi to cater to the needs of victims of such heinous offenses. That is all for today. Have a nice day ahead.